What's up, y'all? It's your girl Shantia, and I'm back with another banger, another word, okay? Listen, y'all, before I get into the word, I just want to tell everybody that on September 23rd, I had a virtual vision board party, okay? And all of you all are invited, whether you are female, whether you are male. I know on the um, flyer, that I posted on my social media. It was where my girl's at because it was supposed to be in person, but things have changed where we are making it completely virtual, okay? And so listen, child, I'm super excited for everyone to come together, not just to get a live, okay, word or banger for me. There might even be some um, special guest speakers as well, but also just a way to connect with everyone and to make sure that we are finishing 2023 strong. I feel like so many times we try to focus on what goals we want to accomplish for 2024 when there is still so much time left on the clock, okay, to accomplish every single goal. I don't care if you have just been procrastinating in this entire year and you just haven't gotten things done listen child when you come to the virtual vision board party we're going to help you i'm going to help you of how to navigate this season in order to accomplish whatever goal no matter how big no matter how small that you want to see come into full fruition before the end of this year okay listen this is a super super fun experience i will make sure that i link the tickets down below also for the ebook okay the social media ebook i will make sure that i link that down below if you haven't gotten your copy yet make sure you go get your copy if you don't know anything about social media it will teach you about it and guess what child if you just want to support just go buy the book okay but listen i have um read the emails and the reviews of people saying of how their social medias have already like gone up the exposure the videos if god has been telling you to produce content and do videos but you just been wondering why you know maybe your videos haven't been getting any views or getting in front of the right people the book is gonna help you okay whether that's on instagram youtube tiktok it doesn't matter i said tip top tiktok it doesn't matter um you can apply these to any social media platform and it also keeps you accountable and disciplined in this season and to build a routine because I have a calendar uh, within the book as well to keep you accountable for the next 30 days. Listen, child, but anyways, that's pretty funny. I feel like that's just like me because it's like I give information to you all but i also don't just give it i like to give it in but give it in a way where it's tangible for you for you to keep yourself accountable and disciplined and consistent in this season okay but anyways y'all so let's get straight into the word y'all so the title of this word is when the impossible meets god's favor when the impossible meets god's favor listen child Raise your hand in the comment section, okay? If you have been in the season where you have been waiting on seeing a promise coming to fruition, okay? I feel like we all have. It's all part of the process. Um, I love God so much because he will never give us everything we want, but he will allow certain areas to um, look a certain way so that we stay dependent on him in those areas, okay? And so listen, when God gave me this title of when the impossible meets God's favor, I thought about... Um, Luke 1 where it was talking about Mary and Elizabeth okay and so listen so in Luke 1 if you haven't read Luke 1 make sure you go read Luke 1 but I wanted to give you like um a backstory about Luke 1 and basically Gabriel the angel had came to Zechariah which is um elizabeth's um husband okay and so gabriel came to zachariah to tell zachariah that his wife will bore a son now zachariah of course had doubt in that moment okay and so um he was like you know how would this come about x y and z long story short his mouth got shut okay until the appointed time and so fast forward elizabeth ends up um conceiving and so 
um that's one part and then the other part okay i want to get into the impossible but the other part was when the angel had visited mary and told mary that she would bore a son okay and she would call him jesus and of course mary was like how would this happen i'm a virgin and the angel was like look the holy spirit is gonna come upon you okay and so both of these situations while i was reading it um i thought were two beautiful situations especially two beautiful women okay who um experience the um experience god taking an impossible situation okay and making it possible and i feel like not i feel like i know that that is exactly what god's favor looks like okay god's favor is not something that you can calculate god's favor is not something that you can put together it's not something that you will ever un understand okay listen child i still be sitting here like how in the heck did mary get pregnant right by still being a virgin and so listen situations like that are so beautiful because that is where god does his best okay he does his best work in impossible situations and so the beauty that i saw in this was that neither both of the women questioned okay when they were told that they were born a son and so how many of us are in the season where god has been telling us stuff and we have been questioning like lord i know i heard you say this i know i heard you give me this promise but i don't know how you're gonna bring it to pass because it doesn't make sense and so you begin to question okay how something is going to come to pass listen child i'm here today to just say don't question how god is going to take an impossible situation and make it possible because you're never going to be able to figure it out it's not going to make sense to you okay that is what god's favor looks like and so um as i was reading this passage not only was i looking at the you know impossible situation but i just love the fact how in luke 39 um it, it reads, at that time, Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea, where she entered Zachariah's home and greeted Elizabeth, okay? there There's so much beauty in when we begin to support, right, our brothers and sisters on this journey. And so Mary was quick to get up and to go to Elizabeth, right, and to meet yet her cousin. I think it was her cousin. Um, Don't get me wrong. Don't get me lying. But we're going to roll with it right now. Read your word. I don't know. But anyway, so um, when Mary goes to meet um, Elizabeth and I thought that that meetup right was so beautiful because it was two women who are supporting each other on this journey okay who are both also experiencing a move of God's favor they're literally both looking okay touching each other's womb okay and 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 looking at the miracles and the promises come to pass right before their eyes and so I thought that this was like a beautiful word a two-part word of not just God um, bringing an impossible situation and making it possible, but also just the beauty in when we begin to support and to love on each other, right? I feel like sometimes when God, when God speaks to us and we may you know go to other people to tell them what god did or certain impossible situations you know that came about there are some people that you know their belief is not set up the way that your belief is set up right and so when you explain your testimony it doesn't make sense to them because they have a different belief system but let me tell you something when you finally get connected and paired up okay or in alignment with people that have the same belief system as you with people who have experienced god's favor with people who have literally seen god take an impossible situation and make it possible it makes the journey that much better and that much pleasurable okay and so listen on this day today our daily bread i just want to encourage those to make sure that you are loving and supporting those that are surround you, supporting those who might be in situations or circumstances that just don't make sense, supporting those who might be in the place or the space where it looks like they're going backwards, it looks like they're 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 um taking a step back, but really is God is setting them up for their greatest breakthrough. I just want to encourage you to make sure that you are loving and supporting those around you because listen, child. 
two is better than one okay and so we all need that love and support around us to help us on this journey and to also see the miracles come forth and to see what god can do and so listen when i was reading this scripture i was like if god was doing it back then you know good well god is doing it today and so this is a word for somebody okay and a testimony a clear testimony of this is what it looks like when the impossible meets god's favor and so whatever your impossible is in your life whatever situation looks impossible i just want to tell you that it is possible okay and just like it says in luke 1 45 which is one of my favorite scriptures blessed is she who has believed that the lord will fulfill his promises to her blessed is he who has believed that the lord will fulfill his promises to him okay you are blessed when you believe the promises that god has told you that will that will come um that will come to pass in this season and so listen child I just wanted to get on here to help whoever, you know, needs this word in this moment, in this time, who needs a reminder from God, okay? And that's why I love the Bible. I love the scripture because anytime you are looking at your situation and it looks impossible, child, all you got to do is go read your word and to look and to study the character of who God is, okay? God is the same. And so the same thing that he, the same miracle signs and wonders that he was performing then, he's performing now he's performing today the reason why a lot of people don't are not able to see the same miracles that were done in the bible is because they don't believe that it can really happen for them this is a battle between your belief system your old belief system and the new belief system the new you that god is putting on you the new man that god is asking you to step into and in order for you to see this new thing come to pass in order for you to perceive it god is saying i'm gonna need you to believe it believe it okay and so listen y'all it's a new season it's a new day and your impossible situation is about to meet God's favor. You are going to see God take that impossible situation and turn it around for your good because listen, child, that is who God is and he specializes in that area. Listen, y'all, anyways, I pray that this word has blessed you, that it has helped you. It helped me. I absolutely love this scripture, love this passage. If you haven't read Luke 1, make sure you go read it. But anyways, y'all, I love you all. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video out to whoever needs it, okay? Until next time, I will see you all. Bye.